dumb vibes is here to entertain you. In the past weeks, Bishop Makamu has been making the rounds on social media, principally for the very wrong reasons. I mean, his show Rita Taylor is actually going out of hand on several daily basis. Some people are impressed while others are disappointed, but this time around, things have gone so south for him. In our today's video in Rita Taylor, viewers want x to intervene after Bishop Makamu fails to do something they consider to be very much important. Do well to watch this video right up to the end because I'm here to give you all some juicy information about the ongoing and how the events are about to be unfolded and how sad things are getting on Bishop Makamu's side. So do well to watch the video right up to the end. Before I give you all the information proper, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment after watching the entire video and hit on to my post notification bell. A family wrote to the show because an old woman's son had been married off without them knowing. After his abrupt passing, his new wife took everything including his house and cars. The deceased had a son and even if his father was married, he is still entitled to half of the wealth. The problem became the vulgar family of the stepmother. They were swearing at the grandmother, calling her all sorts of disgusting names until she shed tears. Even after all that, they got no help with their initial concern. Makamu failed them and viewers were so livid. They demanded Mr. X be brought in to fix things. I mean, several people got so disappointed principally because of the fact that they relied so much on Bishop Makamu, but still yet he couldn't resolve this petty issue as they call it. What is actually leaving me so disturbed and thinking right now is simply because of the fact that Bishop Makamu is not used to actually failing his people. And if he has done this type of thing this time around, that simply means something should be wrong somewhere or he has everything under control. Most of the times, we actually have that urge of jumping into false conclusions because we want to conclude faster than it is. Bishop Makamu hasn't revealed to us that he is going to leave them hanging or he's going to abandon them. I mean, everybody has their own ways of professionalism. He has been doing this for so many years and so many people have been testifying for the goodness of his good works, but still yet, people decide to drag him. Of recent, Bishop Makamu was even spotted posting his woman, his wife, on social media and of course, he made her to understand that her dark times are not going to be a determinant of her future. That is probably to say that the wife should be going through a lot. And since he is married to her, like they always say, a man shall leave his parents and come join his woman and they shall become one. And if she is in trouble, then he is in trouble as well. Have we thought of the fact that he could have some psychological breakdowns or, you know, some mental illness? Have you thought of the fact that he should be going through a lot as far as his own personal life is concerned? Let's avoid jumping into false conclusions. One of the angry viewers wrote, and I quote, My blood is just so boiling, watching that evil spirit in pink gown push and shout at Gogo. Bishop better handle this for Gogo or we are sending in X and his team to humble this family of ugly hearted people. Send in X, please, Moja Love TV, we need Mr. X. Another user wrote, and I quote, If Bishop fails to assist Gogo today, let X and his X report team Take up this matter and release Gogo from her misery, please. Moja Love TV, we love you, but we as well want the best for this woman. Hashtag Rita Taylor Wednesday. A final user wrote, and I quote, In most cases, the wife gets a 50% and the late children also get 50% of their father, but Makamu is just so clueless. We want justice. Tell me what you think about this.